standards we use I squared C for the sensor communication between the Arduino and the uh, sensors. The advantage of that was with only two wires we could have everything connect everything together and uh, it's very simple and with the libraries that already exist it's very easy to use. Um, pulse width modulation is the way servos are controlled. Uh, fortunately Arduino supports it on some channels so we use that. Not exactly a standard of a technique, but <coughs> and pulse position modulation is how the uh, signal goes from the transmitter to the receiver. We didn't actually have to deal with that at all. It's just the method that was done by it's proprietary, so we probably couldn't use it even if we wanted to or change it. And we use USB 2.0 to connect the uh, Arduino to the receiver to upload programs, which we wrote in C. So, conclusion, we successfully, we did do it, we achieved, we didn't miss, there any holes, wing leveling works, it can hold the pitch, um, it can keep itself level, and it can also hold the altitude. Um, we didn't combine any two functions because things start to get complicated when, um, for instance, it's not level, then, or worse, if it was upside down, then it would, um, it would become very complicated to combine different functions. Uh, we didn't use self-navigation because we didn't have money for a GPS. And speed control, we decided not to because we didn't have a sensor that would, like I said, give us any useful data to go by to control it with. So uh, what we gained from it is um, the ability to design projects using an Arduino board and uh, knowledge of how IC devices work and experience pro C programming on the Arduino the recommendation to use this model of plane because it can carry a fairly heavy payload and um, instruction on how RC planes work in these two sites. And these two are uh, code repositories. There's a one, this one has um, I squared C code and also the code for the, the uh, accelerometer gyroscope sensor. <coughs> this was the, the uh, code for the pressure sensor. So I'll try to demonstrate the functions in here. The, uh, one of them in particular, the altitude hold doesn't work terribly well because it has a resolution of about one meter. sending the signal to the microprocessor which is controlling it, but it still operates like a normal plane would. Always. First setting holds the wing level. You'll see what I mean by jittery. That's the thing keeps looping. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
just if it tilts too far it tries to level itself out. And this uses an accelerometer and only controls the ailerons. If I try to control them, nothing happens, but that still works and that still works. Next setting is the hardest to demonstrate. It adjusts based on height. So if I move it up, the tail should go down. Mm -hmm. But it's that it has a resolution of one meter at best, so it's it might work well in real life, but it doesn't work well in here. The last is um, the pitch hold. Tilt it up, it tries to go down. Tilt it down, it tries to go up. That only controls the elevator there, so ailerons still work. The rudder still works. And if we'd been able to uh, implement bearing hold with the compass, that would be a function that controls just the rudder and not the other two surfaces. And that's all. <coughs> difference in air pressure between here and here. Yeah. So it can just barely identify it, but it can. Any other questions? When are you going to try flying it? As soon as you graduate, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> as long as there's no people on campus. <laughs> Waiting for everybody back here. 